Good evening. My name is Steve Everett. I'm the provost of Adelphi University. Welcome to this special concert in honor of the 75th anniversary of the United Nations Charter and the 10th anniversary of the UN Academic Impact Program. The United Nations was established in 1945 following the devastation of the Second World War with one central mission, the maintenance of international peace and security. The UN carries out this extraordinary goal by working to prevent conflict, helping parties in conflict make peace, peacekeeping, and creating the conditions that will allow peace to hold and flourish. 10 years ago, on this very date, humanitarian visionary Ban Ki-moon, the eighth Secretary General of the United Nations, launched the United Nations Academic Impact Project. He said at that time, quote, today we are seeing the emergence of a stronger culture of intellectual responsibility. That is the spirit the UN Academic Impact seeks to embrace and encourage, unquote. Academic Impact helps to educate young people about the complex transnational issues of our time, cultivate a global mindset and a keener sense of global citizenship, and empower students and faculty to take their learning beyond the classroom and out to their friends, families, and communities. In the decades since its creation, Academic Impact has created a vibrant and diverse network of students, academics, scientists, think tanks, institutions of higher education, and educational partners. There are currently over 1,400 member institutions in more than 145 countries, which reach nearly 25 million people around the world. We are extremely honored to have His Excellency Ban Ki-moon as one of our distinguished speakers during tonight's event. You will hear from him a little bit later. Also joining us are His Excellency Antonio Guterres, United Nations Secretary General, Ambassador Jose Singer, Special Envoy of the Dominican Republic to the UN Security Councils, who is also an alumnus of Adelphi University, and Ramu Damodarin, Deputy Director for Partnerships and Public Engagement at the UN. From Adelphi, you will hear from the Symphony Orchestra conductor and faculty member Stefano Michelli, Professor of Political Science Katie Latakanen, and Syra Amar, a current undergraduate student majoring in international relations. What better way to celebrate all the wonderful things accomplished by the UN in the past 75 years and by academic impact in the past 10 years than through music? I'm pleased to present to you a very special global concert organized by Adelphi's Department of Music Chair, Sidney Bokerin. It will be performed by the Adelphi Symphony Orchestra with conductor Stefano Macelli. The program will feature composers from around the world, a piece arranged especially for this occasion by Pulitzer Prize winning composer and Adelphi University professor, Paul Morvik, and reflections from our esteemed speakers. Thank you for sharing this evening with us, and I do hope that you enjoy this special music performance to honor the 75th anniversary of the United Nations and the 10th anniversary of the creation of the UN Academic Impact Program. Thank you all, enjoy. On the 10th anniversary of United Nations Academic Impact, I congratulate its member institutions on their contributions and commitment to advancing peace, human rights, sustainability, and global citizenship. In the first decade, this initiative has created a vibrant network of students, scientists, researchers, think tanks, higher education institutions, and educational partners in nearly 150 countries. Its hubs for the Sustainable Development Goals and its Millennium Fellowship Program have helped to advance intellectual social responsibility. Today, your efforts can be especially useful in overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic, addressing the climate crisis, and promoting digital cooperation for the common good. I encourage you to bring your best energies and ideas to these challenges as we strive to develop vaccines, combat misinformation, and achieve climate neutrality by the year 2050. I have long admired the historian A.G.P. Taylor, who reminded us that there are times in history where we reach a turning point but fail to turn. The juncture we face right now, our own 1945 moment as the United Nations marks its 75th anniversary, must not become one of those missed opportunities. Education is one of the world's great enablers of progress. Thank you for being part of the United Nations Academic Impact 
and promoting a movement of minds that can lead us towards more inclusive, resilient and sustainable future for all. The Adelphi University Symphony Orchestra and I are extremely excited to celebrate this very important musical appointment with the entire world. In a very difficult pandemic period in interpersonal relationships, as a musician, I believe that music is the only universal language that today overcomes the difficulties of this historical moment. And the choice of the repertoire we are going to perform is precisely our special wish to share with you your emotions with us and think of optimism for the next future. Libertango is a famous composition composed by Astor Piazzolla and the Adelphi University Symphony Orchestra and I are going to propose our rearrangement for this special occasion. A brilliant rhythm made by frequent accents, a very linear melody and friendly, very friendly harmony with the interaction of classical and jazz elements. The great energy in one word of the Argentinian Nuevo Tango. Tomorrow is the title of the composition written by Suada Bujnak, Arab, Canadian film and concert composer. It is a musical work that anticipates a better future for a war-torn country. It is full of hope with lush, velvety harmonies supporting melodies that build up to create a state of love among people.
Good evening. I am Ambassador Jose Singer. I represent the Dominican Republic in the UN Security Council, and I'm a proud alumni of Adelphi University, class of 73. On a day like today, a decade ago, the United Nations Academic Impact Initiative was officially launched by United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Although the impact of this initiative might not be able to be measured in traditional ways, as an AU alumni and current special envoy of the Dominican Republic to the Security Council, I am especially proud of the efforts of thousands of young minds from around almost every corner of the world brought together to call for support and advance 10 basic principles put forth by the UN academic impact. Commitment to human rights, educational opportunity for all people, encouraging global citizenship in advancing peace and conflict resolution through education, as well as addressing poverty issues and promoting sustainability are just some of those principles that I believe should be the backbone of every society in order to promote a more prosperous and inclusive society for all. To be completely honest, I never dreamt of holding the position I am today, especially during the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the creation of the United Nations. But the one thing that inspired me to accept the cha challenges is clear a profound love towards my country and my people. Despite being a founding member of the UN, the Dominican Republic had never been a member of the UN Security Council. And representing my country for its historic first election as a non-permanent member of the Security Council is beyond any of my expectations in my professional life. And has proven to be both challenging and extremely satisfying. As a businessman and someone new to diplomacy, I can assure you that, that when it comes to serving your country, every single one of us can contribute a, to a more peaceful, tolerant, and understanding world. So at this point, I wanted to stress something about which many of you have already reflected in the course of this event. Just to be clear, the UN is not only an organization. It is a system that serves humanity. Through its funds and programs such as UNICEF, the UN Development Program, or the UN Environment Program, but also through its sister organizations such as the World Health Organization, the International Migration Organization, or the UN Population Fund, just to name a few. Listen to this, it serves to the most vulnerable people in all contexts of the world, including people living in conflict and refugees around the world. And perhaps in the context of the current global pandemic, the UN is more important than ever, where multilateralism is the only way in which we'll defeat this pandemic. And I wanna repeat this. Multilateralism is the only way in which we will defeat this pandemic. It is also relevant to tell you that the World Food Program just won a Nobel Prize for its work in delivering life-saving food assistance to conflict-affected populations. And the Dominican Republic is very proud to have contributed to this as champions of hunger and conflict agenda in the Security Council. Just think for a moment, what if there was no United Nations? It is the UN, the only entity capable of advocating, coordinating, and delivering humanitarian assistance to the most vulnerable. Finally, from the bottom of my heart, I encourage all of you to aim high, to dream big, to break glass ceilings, to think outside of the box, but above all, bet on yourselves, believe in yourselves. You can, 
and you will change the world for the better. I thank you. Good evening. We gather this evening to celebrate the UN at 75 and the 10th anniversary of academic impact. I'm Katie Latikainen, a professor of political science and director of the Levermore Global Scholars Program. Joining me tonight uh, is one of my students, Sarah Amar, Saira Amar, sorry. By reflecting on academic impact and in relation to the United Nations, we hope to show mm -hmm in our small conversation, how much the United Nations has changed and how flexible and limber 
this 75 year old institution really is. UNAI has had an important role in transforming how academics, scholars, and students engage at the United Nations. Academic impact, what can that mean in relation to the United Nations? I've been studying the United Nations for nearly 30 years. As a graduate intern in the Department of Political Affairs, I was awed when I walked into the grand spaces of the United Nations headquarters and I quickly learned the diplomatic hierarchies and reserved spaces, such as the 38th floor of the Secretary General and the UN Security Council. As a young scholar researching multilateralism, I interviewed hundreds of UN diplomats for my research, but I could never shake the feeling that I was an interloper in this important place. Soon after I came to Adelphi in 2001, faculty and administrators joined together to apply for NGO status for the university. Our application was happily successful. During this period, the UN also adopted the Millennium Development Goals and the, subsequently the Sustainable Development Goals. These actions catalyzed a broader role for civil society to participate in the work of global governance. We have been fortunate over the years to be able to support AU students like Syra, who have participated in UN conferences and meetings for many years now. I'm Syra Moore, a senior international studies major at Adelphi. As last year's AU Youth Representatives to United Nations, being at the United Nations headquarters in New York has been an amazing experience for me. In high school, I was somebody that has always dreamed about working at the United Nations in the future. And when I received the position to be Adelphi University's very own youth representative, it felt completely surreal to rep be representing an NGO. In fact, it still does today. One event I will especially remember treasure during my term was being at the opening of the United Nations General Debates last September. It is shocking to think that I could see 24 world leaders from around the world speak about their hopeful views to pave a better future collectively for all. Even though I was at the back during this event, I could feel the energy and ambiance in the, in the room. And this is definitely one of the many events that has helped me grow professionally, learn more about civil society and growth even as a person. This is the room where it happens, where businesses, non-governmental organizations, and nation states come together to discuss and solve world problems. To this day, it still brings me immense joy whenever I'm in the building, that I, as a student, just like anybody else, can be a part of a bigger picture that is civil society and make an impact. Working all year with other NGOs, I've learned that we are part of the global process. Change starts with us. So this is the academic impact and multilateral innovation that we celebrate tonight. The UN has changed immensely in over 75 years evolving from a multilateral organization dominated by diplomats to a UN system that has created space for civil society and students, the leaders of tomorrow, to participate in global governance. Civil society has found a way into those hierarchical and reserved spaces that I witnessed so long ago, such as the ARIA formula meetings of the UN Security Council, and the input of civil society in the selection of the last secretary general. Those are issues that were previously the domain of high diplomatic politics. What we have learned is that global governance requires all of us to play a role. And we thank Academic Impact for helping us play this role. Happy and 10th anniversary to the Academic Impact. Build Peace by Penka Konevo, a Bulgarian-American composer, orchestrator, and soundtrack producer. This composition is a blend of Bulgarian influences, classical elements, and rock sensibility. It is a fluent and peaceful dialogue among instruments to push the audience and musicians to a better communication. We also have a premiere performance by a prolific American composer, Paul Morabek. Autumn Song is an actual vision and music by Paul of the seasonal and temporary darkness we are living, written for a flute soloist and orchestra. 
It is so fascinating how the composition itself becomes uh, brighter and brighter, harmony by harmony, moment by moment, just like our proximal future. In 2007, the legendary Italian composer Ennio Morricone conducted his orchestra at the United Nations in New York City. Maestro Morricone and his musicians have dedicated that performance to the United Nations staff. It was a memorable gesture of solidarity for the Millennium Development Goals. As a conclusion of this exciting musical itinerary, we would give our tribute to a very special friend of the United Nations and of young talents. The Golden Globe winner Ennio Morricone passed away this year in 2020, and the Adelphi University Symphony Orchestra and I made a transcription of one of the most unforgettable melodies written by the maestro. The song Gabriel's Song, written for the movie The Mission. This melody is a taste of sweetness and a genial combination of notes that certainly invite all of us to dream a better world built by music and by good, good feelings among citizens.
the United Nations academic impact was created 10 years ago as a dynamic platform for the energy, innovation, and creativity of scholarship to work with the United Nations in a culture of intellectual, social responsibility. I still remember in 2007 when a United Nations senior staff member, Ramu Damadoran, came up to me and said, Mr. Secretary General, why don't we start a global network of universities to support the United Nations in its mission? And I replied, it seems a wonderful idea. Go and work on it. And he did. With the support of academic leaders the world over, including my good friend, the late Dr. Michael Adams of the International Association of University Presidents. And when they came back to me with a completed project, I had only one question. Why did we not think of this earlier? The major punctuation points of these 10 years, the evolution of the Sustainable Development Goals and the conclusion of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change owe as much to scholars assuring us what can be possible as to the political will to build on that assurance. The work of institutions of higher education is vital to achieving the SDGs as they serve as incubators of new ideas, inventions, and solutions to our common challenges we face. As we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the United Nations academic impact, we are grateful for its contribution to transformative impact on a global scale. Uh, today, we are also celebrating the graduation of the Millennium Fellowship Class of 2020. Cognizant of the fact that change starts in our own communities, UNAI's partnership with the Millennium Campus Network, MCN, a global student movement to address humanity's greatest challenges, started in 2018 with a goal to engage and empower young leaders so that individual action at the grassroots level will echo around the world and inspire others to do the same. UNAI and MCN partnered to present the Millennium Fellowship, a leadership development program that takes place on university campuses that convenes, challenges, and celebrates student leadership for UN goals. In 2020, 15,000 young leaders applied to join the Millennium Fellowship class of 2020. 80 campuses in 20 countries were selected to host the 1,438 Millennium Fellows who managed over 750 projects and contributed millions of hours to uplifting their communities and advancing all 17 SDGs. My congratulations to them. I'm delighted to share with you a few more milestones of UNAI achieved in the past decade. The Many Languages One World International Essay Contest showcase, showcased the power of multilingualism by inviting students from around the world to write essays on global citizenship, cultural understanding, and the role of multilingualism. Winners met at the Global Youth Forum in New York, where they presented action plans for the Sustainable Development Agenda in the United Nations 
General Assembly Hall. The academic impact commitment to promoting the SDGs inspired is a partnership with the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Through collaboration, they mobilized the universities, knowledge institutions, as well as scientific and technical expertise in support of the UN's historic efforts to realize a life of dignity for all. The SDG Academy partners with leading experts to develop free massive open online courses and educational materials on sustainable development and offer them as a global public good. In 2018, UNAI announced the inauguration of the UNAI SDG hubs. 17 UNAI member institutions were selected from all regions of the world as exemplars for their innovative scholarship and engagement related to the Sustainable Development Goals. The SDG hubs have conducted research that brings us closer to achieving the goals while educating the next generation of leaders to change the world. One question that we often get when working with the young people is, how do I become part of the United Nations? The academic impact committed to connect the future leaders with the right avenue for creating change, designed the Work for UN series to help UN aspirants understand the organization, its structure, and some of the most common ways available to join the organization. I encourage you to take a look at it, and I hope you will join the organization and contribute your talent with a pride to help the world secure. Responding to the impact of COVID-19 on higher education, UNAI brought together students, educators, and researchers in different parts of the world and held timely conversations with them to find out how COVID-19 has affected them and how they are coping with the changes. These conversations offered the solid advice, lessons learned, and shed light on the potential positive out outcomes of the global lockdown for higher education. In the month leading up to the 75th anniversary of the United Nations, the academic impact organized a series of webinars titled 75 for UN 75, 75 minutes of conversation. These online dialogues were joined by scholars, educators, researchers, and students globally to discuss their priorities for the future, anticipate obstacles to achieving them, and rethink a wide range of global issues. Inclusiveness has always been at the core of the work of the United Nations academic impact. Its latest, We Are Indigenous original series gives a stage to members to the global indigenous community who are contributing to solving the world's biggest problems with their own unique wisdom and practices passed down through generations. With only 10 years left for us to achieve the SDGs, 2020 is ushering in a decade of ambitious, accelerated action to deliver the goals by 2030. You have the power to demand urgency and ambition and to supercharge ideas into solutions. And UNAI is here.
to serve as the bridge between you and the United Nations. Please join or continue working with UNAI as partners, members, colleagues, or interns in this new decade of action for universities and students. As I said when I launched the academic impact 10 years ago, we are not asking for your intellectual property, but we are demanding your dynamism, your energy, and your commitment. Thank you. Greetings from the United Nations Academic Impact. We're immensely grateful to Adelphi University for having put together this concert on our 10th anniversary. And for me personally, it's a very poignant moment because I remember my first visit to Adelphi when I met President Bob Scott, who has since been a cherished mentor and guide, and how we walked through the campus seeing how what begins in the classroom can extend globally. Adelphi, with its model UN Association, with the legacy of Charles Levermore and his faith in international organization, could not be a host surpassed this evening. We are grateful. We are grateful to you, Sydney, Stefano, Susan, Blythe, and of course, James Boney, my friend, who really set this into operation. If you look at the musical repertoire we have this evening, it is in many ways a manifestation of the United Nations itself on our 75th anniversary. Music relating to, to liberty, to tomorrow, the tomorrow the world foresaw in 1945, to building peace, to the autumn song. The United Nations came into being in October autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. And also when you listen to that and the interplay of the flute and the piano, that is really an interplay of human life itself. The breath and animation that brings the flute to life and the dexterity of the hands on the piano, which are the source of creation. So too, the United Nations was a new life born to create. And then, of course, the theme from the mission and the memory of those who have seen the film of that last scene with a biblical quotation of there is light in the darkness and the darkness hath not overcome the light. A message so compelling today as we are in many ways in the midst of a darkness where many of us see no light, but others have faith, a faith that education inspires. And I'm grateful also to be reminded of the words of one of the most distinguished alumni of Adelphi University, someone who did not live long enough for us to fully savor and appreciate his talent, the musician Jonathan Larson who once said, the opposite of war is not peace. The opposite of war is creation. That is the opposite we tried to forge in 1945 with the United Nations. That is the opposite we tried to forge in 2010 with the United Nations academic impact. To every one of you, for your support, my gratitude, and our hope that this journey will continue together. Thank you.
Good evening. My name is Sidney Marquez Volkiran, and I am the chair of the Department of Music at Adelphi University. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you as well to all of our speakers. We hope that you have all enjoyed this virtual concert, which has been a collaboration between the Department of Music at Adelphi University and the United Nations. Thank you most especially to the Adelphi Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Professor Stefano Micelli, our students, our alums, and our faculty. We look forward to seeing you at future events. Stay safe and well.